Hi guys, would you like a machine that can process iron? I have always wanted a CNC machine that can process iron. If you can process iron and stainless steel, you will be able to make high strength parts. The level of your work will also rise. However, as far as I know, no desktop CNC machine on the market can process materials that are harder than aluminium. It is also very noisy when processing aluminium. But don't worry. I succeeded to remodel a machine that can process iron. Watch this video to see how I remodeled the machine. I showed the iron test cut video at the beginning, but if you want to see the processing performance of the machine after remodeling, please see the test cut video at the end of this video. This time, I would like to remodel a cheap desktop CNC machine that is less than $400 on the market to make it a machine that can process iron. Remodel with tools and parts available to anyone, and a 3D printer in a way that anyone can do. The reason why I chose this machine as the base machine is that the frame is made entirely of aluminum, so the strength of the frame is relatively high, and it is very compact and has a short range of motion, which is advantageous of strength. In other words, I thought the frame of this machine was already strong enough to process iron. There are some parts that have problems, but it's not a big problem. All I have to do is remodel it as I like. This video is relatively long, so you can watch it from wherever you like. It has a table of contents in the overview column. The website has more information, please access from the link in the overview column. The necessary modifications for machining hard materials with this machine are to improve the rigidity of the x-axis and to apply enough preload to lead screw nut. And the high torque, high accuracy, high rigidity spindle. In other words, it is necessary to improve the rigidity of moving part. This video introduces the remodeling I did. But if you also want to do the remodeling, Please take responsible for the remodeling by yourself. Let's enjoy remodeling.
I will test the strength of the normal machine. To compare with the strength after remodel the machine. It's not an accurate test, but I think it can use as reference. Obviously, in a real industrial CNC machine, each axis does not move even if I push it with my finger. If the result of this test can be about 0.05 millimeters, I think that it's can machine iron. Maybe. I do my best. With drinking. One of the reasons why the strength of the x-axis is weak, is that the x-axis linear shaft is far from the spindle. The other is that the x-axis linear bushes is close. The stroke of the x-axis will be shorter. But the strength can be easily increased, by installing the linear bushes as far apart as possible. Remodeling method is easy. Flatten the mounting surface and install the linear bush in the opposite direction. The strength of the x-axis has improved, but it is still not enough. Further improvement in the item of lead screw nut.
I wanted to make the run out about 0.01 mm, but I couldn't achieve that accuracy. First, let's check the state of each axis before improvement. The strength of the frame, and the strong spindle are not the only factors required to process hard metals. Real industrial machines have a tough structure with no rattling by using preloaded parts for all moving parts. About this machine, the linear bush is not preloaded, so I would like to change it to a preloaded linear guide, but this time it will not be done because it will be a serious modification. Each lead screw nut is preloaded by a poor spring. But it's no meaning. One machining hard metals because the spring is too weak. However, this problem can be easily improved by using spring washers. However, if the preload is too strong, the resistances between the lead screw and lead screw nut will become too large, causing the stepper motor to step out. Adjustment is required to the extent that it does not step out. Remodeling is very easy. Install the spring washers to the two M3 screws that support the second lead screw nut, and apply preload to the nut with the spring washers. Applied too much preload. Need to reduce it. When I turn the lead screw manually, it feels about twice as heavy as the normal state. Adjust the Y and Z axis in the same way.
How was it? Did you enjoy it? You watched this video to the end, I recommend that you subscribe to this channel, so that you don't miss the next video. And, I'd be happy if you press the like button. This time, I wanted to show a remodeling that anyone can do, so I made the front bearing housing with a 3D printer. However, if this remodeling is successful, it will be possible to process steel, so I decided to remake it to the front housing that made by steel. This part used in the test cut will be the front housing of this machine. The video has become long, so I'll stop here this time, but when it's complete, I'll post it on the website. Also, the details of this modification are posted on the website, so if you are interested, please have a look. If you have any requests, such as wanting to see further remodeling, I want to meet to your requests, so please comment on your opinion. See you again.